Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a wig review on this wig that I have on right here. This is a part of Altre's brand new collection, their Melted Hairline Lace Front Wig Collection, and this is in the style Catalina. I have it in the color DRFF Chocolate Truffle. So if you guys want to hear all of my thoughts and opinions, I will show you guys how I laid and slayed this wig, if I do say so myself. So yeah, if you guys want to hear all of my thoughts and opinions, let's jump right on into this video. Here is what the stock card looks like. I'm going to read a little bit of information from the stock card because like I said, this is a brand new collection that Altre released. So this is supposed to be a seamless hairline for the realist illusion. It claims to have a perfect ear to ear lace edge, soft Swiss lace, a five inch deep parting space, completely pre plucked hairline and sideburns, pre attached elastic band for a secure fit natural baby hairs and a redesigned comfort fit for ear contour. So as soon as I took this wig out of the box, I immediately wanted to look at the hairline and to see how it was looking. And when I tell you guys, I am impressed and a little bit shook that Altre did such a good job with this hairline. I have never seen a synthetic wig pre-plucked natural hairline. You know, they all have a bunch of claims now. I have never seen a synthetic wig with small, almost undetectable knots. And I tried to get a really good shot on my camera. I hope that the camera picked it up because when I tell you the closer that you got to the edge of the hairline, the smaller the knots got. The knots were gradual. Like what? I was just so impressed and I think that Altre did a bomb, bomb job. And yes, this wig is only a lace part unit. You do get the natural hairline. However, it is already set to a side part and this is the parting space that you get. You get five inches, but I still think that you can make this look super, super natural because the hairline is one of the, oh, the hairline is the best hairline I have ever seen on a synthetic wig, period. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, period. <laughs> And I don't ever say that, but that's how this wig made me feel when I saw it. I was like, so that's what we doing. So that's how we're coming in 2020. Okay. Okay. Like my drop. I literally got this wig in the mail today and I was so excited once I saw it out of the package that I was like, I'm going to sit down and film because like I'm hype. You know what I'm saying? And I haven't been hype about a wig in a long time. So that should say something. Another thing that I thought was really cool and I again have not seen on a synthetic wig was the fact that it came with sideburns. And I'm not gonna lie, when I first put this wig on my head, I thought that I ripped the lace because your girl's got a big old head, you know what I'm saying? And I thought I ripped the lace because the lace felt detached from the wig. But then I looked at the stock card and all the information that they tell you, and it says that it has a redesigned comfort ear contour. So it's supposed to be detached, so you have sideburns sideburns like what he really just thought of everything i really don't have a complaint when it comes to the hairline or the construction of this unit i really appreciate the elastic band it doesn't feel super loose i had tried i believe it was altre karina i felt like the elastic band was kind of pointless because it really didn't have any like elasticity it wasn't 
it wasn't secure and it didn't make me feel secure. So y'all know if you are not new to my channel that I am still a beginner when it comes to laying and slaying these frontals like your typical wig bays out there do on a regular. It takes me a little bit of time and I'm trying to do it and that's one of my goals for 2020. But when I tell you from one beginner to another if you are watching this video, this is so easy so easy to lay down because they did literally everything for you all you need to do is cut off the lace lay it down with some spray because it does not claim to be glueless so you do need to lay it down in order for it to melt like it says and then apply some powder and you are done so the lace that comes on this unit is a light brown lace which i know a lot of people will appreciate especially because recently i have seen the reviews on the Bobbi Boss HD lace and the sensational wet lace collection that we are all very familiar with. And the number one complaint about the hairline and the lace of those wigs is that it is just far too light for women of color. And it is almost not worth the, it's almost not worth the work that you have to put into it to blend it down and make it look natural. But when I tell you I have tried just about every tip and hint from all my wig bays out there, and I tilted my head back, and I made sure there was no ring, I'm turning to the side, I'm looking like, you know what I'm saying? Like I am dipping and dodging and making sure that this lace is undetectable. And I mean like, just between me and my monitor and my mirror, where is it? Now on this side, I didn't lay this side, it's a right side part way, so I was like, I ain't even gonna fool with it. But as far as the lace along the hairline and over here, baby, it's looking good. The color that I have is DRFF Chocolate Truffle, and I think that this color is absolutely gorgeous. It is a really pretty, like, sandy, ashy brown, but with these really pretty, like, warm caramel highlights. And when I first put it on, it was kind of giving me Janet Collection June vibes, and I loved loved that wig and the sugar brown color is one of my favorite colors that Janet Collection has and y'all already know that this style is such a classic pretty style and it's something that I gravitate towards I think that it is gorgeous actually it also kind of gives off some like sensational Morgan vibes too the length on me it falls like right at my chest so I would say it's probably about 20 20 inches long as far as the texture goes it just feels like a synthetic wig it doesn't feel like doll hair but it's not a yakky texture it's not super soft or anything like that it just feels like a synthetic wig <laughs> I do want to touch on the density real quick because I feel like this is a personal preference and as for me I have said it before when it comes to straight wigs or wigs in this type of style I do not mind them to be a little bit on the thinner side now I'm not saying I like a thin wig but I just feel like a thinner density on a straight unit looks more natural that's just my opinion and I do think that this wig is on the thinner side. So if you have Janet Collection's June, she's definitely a higher density than this wig. Here is what it looks like when I hold it all together. So it is not a thick wig. Yeah, I really don't have any cons when it comes to this unit. The flyaways are annoying, but all I did was take my little wax stick and try to calm those down. You could go in with some mousse or some hairspray, but I really don't have anything negative to say. I really feel like Outre did that. So far, I want to say that they have released three wigs, a part of this new collection that they released. They have a straight wig. I will insert pictures over here what that looks like. They have this style and then they have a loose wave wig. I have the loose wave one and I will be reviewing that soon. So if you guys want to hear my thoughts and opinions on that one, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are not already. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss out because I will be reviewing that one shortly after this one. So yeah, um, I think that's all I have to mention. If I forgot anything or you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!